Good morning. This is Apostle Sean Simpson. Good morning to each one of you, my father's children. Bless God for you this morning today. Though we're not feeling so well this morning, we still have to keep trying to allow God to do what we do. And that's what Sean did this morning. And of course, Sean is a professional message for you this morning. Understanding Torah in one on one. And we're going to go into, we're going to go through the scriptures in Deuteronomy 6 and 6. And we're going to go into the new covenant application in the book of Galatians, chapter number 3. Amen. Amen. going to be reading out of the Hebrew name version of the Bible. And we will go into the King James where you can get study and understanding. But first of all, and as always, I always go to start with a word of prayer. First of all, God, Father, we thank you this morning. Your word says, seek ye early while you may be found. And Lord, we're seeking you this morning. Lord, for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your word. Father, your word says, teaches us to stay and show ourselves approved unto God. Workmen that need not be ashamed are rightly dividing the word of truth. Father, help us rightly divide by your spirit. And Father, according to your word, You know that it won't return to you, Lord. As always, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we bind Satan, principalities, powers, the rules of the darkness of this world, spiritual witness in high places. Satan, the blood of Jesus is against you. And Lord, as we teach, Lord God, according to the word, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. From the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, beginning with the fourth verse, uh, I'm going to read it out of the Hebrew names version first, and then I'm going to read it out of the King James version. And then I believe we can get a great understanding why God says what he says. It says, He, Israel, the Lord our, is our God, the Lord is one. You should love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. These words which I command you this day shall be on your heart, and you shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall buy them for a sign on your hand, and they shall be some be for something between your eyes. Uh, the King James it states, "The O Israel, the Lord our God, is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee, that they shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest down, in the house, and then sittest in thine house, and thou walkest by the way." When thou liest down, then when thou rises up, and thou shalt bind them for sight upon thine hand, and they shall be as frets between thine eyes. Uh, 
end out of Galatians. Chapter 3. It states, Even as Abraham believed God, and it was accounted, verse 6, to him for righteousness. Know therefore that those that are of faith, the same the son of Abraham, the scriptures foreseeing that God would justify the going by faith, preached the good news beforehand to Abraham, saying, In you all the nations will be blessed. So then those who are of faith are blessed with the faithful Abraham. For as many as are of the works of the law are under a curse. It was written, Cursed is everyone who doesn't continue in all things that are written in the book of the law to do them. Now, that no man is justified by the law before God is evident for the righteous shall live, will live by faith. The law is not a faith, but the man who does them will live by them. Messiah redeemed us from the curse of the law and become a curse for us, what is written. Cursed is everyone who came from the tree, that the blessings of Abraham might come on the Goyim, the Messiah Yeshua, that we might receive the promise of spirit and faith. Brothers, I speak like men, though, though it is only a man's covenant. Yet, what it has been confirmed, no one makes it void or adds to it. Now, the promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. He doesn't say to his seed, as of many, but as of one. To your seed, which is Messiah. And now I say this, a covenant confirmed before him by God and Messiah, the law which came 400 years, 430 years. After does not annul so as to make the promise of no effect. For as no for the inheritance of the law is no promise, but God has granted it to Abraham by promise. What then is the law? It was added because of transgressions until the seed should come to whom the promise has been made. It was ordained to angels the hand of a mediator. Now a mediator is not between one, but God is one. Is the law then against the promises of God? Certainly not for there. Had been a law given which could make alive for sure. Righteousness would have been other law. But the scriptures tell all things to understand that the promise by faith in Yeshua the Messiah might be given to those who believe. Before faith came, we were kept in custody under the law. Set up to the faith, which afterwards be revealed. In other words, saints, there is the understanding of old and new covenant that needs to be done. But understanding Torah, as we are talking about today. I'm going to read it as the main verse. Which is verse 24. Uh, wherefore the law Galatians, verse 3, verse, Galatians 3, verse 24. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ. That we might be justified by faith. And in the Hebrew name version it says, So that the law has become our tutor to bring us to Messiah, that we might be justified by faith. In other words, the Torah. First five books of the Bible, what we call the law, 
is truly instruction in righteousness. It's truly instruction in righteousness. But the righteousness, the righteousness of the law does not, does not bring salvation. Righteousness only comes through Messiah. Through what? Through the faith of Abraham, or as in the Hebrew, Abraham. Abraham. Abraham, who is our progenitor, who is our father of faith. Understanding, he, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And you shall love the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first. The first thing is you have to love God. To understand Torah, you have to love. It ain't no more. Buddha can't save you. Muhammad cannot save you. I'm sorry, my Arabic brother, my Muslim brother. You cannot be saved by him. Any other seeketh and can't save you. Confucianism. There's only one mediator between God and man. That is Christ Jesus our Lord. I want to make it clear to you this morning. According to the word of God, Torah means not only law, Torah means instruction. Torah is schoolmaster. Torah is tutor, tutoring us in righteousness until faith comes. And we're not talking about the kind of faith, the saving faith that comes through Christ Jesus our Lord by receiving him, by becoming born again. But we're talking about Torah and the understanding of holy and righteousness. God said in the Without it, you will not see God. That's both now and later. Because I got to be able to see, uh, perceive, discern that God is in you. Huh? I got to be able to perceive that the Spirit of God will draw me to you. And you to me. And they have a, every time we see you, that's my brother, that's my sister. Torah! Instruction in righteousness, living. The whole book of Leviticus has, gives us over 70 times the word holy. Holy. God is holy. We must understand that not only is he holy, he's loving. The loving kind of somebody draws to you. To understand it, we must understand the promise that God gave Abraham, which is 430 years before the law was given to Moses. So when we understand 430 years before the law is given to Moses. There is a period of promise. And under the covenant of promise that God gave to Abraham, he said, <coughs> he said these words. And you need to understand these words if you understand. Bless you and make you a blessing. You 
are to be walking blessings. You are to be walking, talking blessings. You are to be people can see that you're blessed and then they want to tap into that blessing. How can I bless someone? You bless someone with the word of God. You bless them to bring them into faith. The faith that was given to Abraham. And that seed is Christ. The seed is Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus, the Messiah. Jesus, the Messiah. In this devotion, I want you to understand that to understand the Torah, you must understand Abraham comes before the world. Instruction. The instruction. He said, so shall your seed be. The instruction is the covenant he made with him. He said, he told Abraham, look at the stars. That's how I'm bad. Your seed shall be. He, he told him, Count the, the grains of sand on the seashore. Can you do that? It take a lifetime of doing that. That's why Abraham got it. He caught it. He caught it by faith. The Bible says he believed God. He believed God. And it was accounted unto him to righteousness. Wherefore, he is called the friend of God. Understanding Torah starts with understanding Abraham. And when you study the life of Abraham, you understand, it is a life of ups and downs, but he never took his eyes on God. Yes, he got it to himself quite a few times, but... You know how he got to himself? He never forgot God. And there was a time when man was going to try to take Sarah from him. And I wonder how beautiful this 80, 90 year old woman had to be. I'm wondering how beautiful this 80, 90 year old woman had to be. How good she was. Look, the king wants her. Which king? Read the Bible. Go read the life of Abraham. You'll find out which king it was. It was a good king. When God came and spoke to him, he warned him. If he didn't let and he said anything crazy to Abraham because God had made his whole the whole male population impotent impotent they kept on looking at their minds sad condition to be in very sad And yet, through the seed, the, the, the God said to Abraham, "It's a problem. You have to pray for y'all, and y'all won't get away." Abraham did exactly what God said, and those were the seeds that way. So you got to understand. He's holy, but he loves us. And he wants us to live in him. Him. He wants him. He wants him. Who's the him? The Christ in us. To come out so. The hope of glory that is within us. To come out. So we can be. So we can get more of that. 
love covers a multitude of sins. Abraham had family, had family. Moses had family. Joshua had family. Joseph had family. The patriarch who we And the bloodline that goes to Christ from Abraham. And if you can start with Abraham and understand how precious that is, it took us all the way to Christ. Then he starts with Abraham and he keeps winning that big gold and he, he imparts that big to Isaac and Ishmael. And then and the sons of That's why he's the father of many nations. Abraham had three wives. Three of them. Sarah, Hagar, and Ketor. And when you read and understand these promises, they knew all the nations. Shall be blessed. Your Israel, the Lord our God, when he chose Israel to be his special, peculiar people. That claim for that they didn't do anything, there was grace there. He just told them. They told them the promise made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is still. Justified by the works of the law, you're justified by your faith. The just shall live by faith. Abraham believed God when it comes to him in righteousness. That is what happens. So I'm looking around in Romans 10, 9 and 10. It says, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in him, in thine heart, God have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. But with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Yet it has to start with our righteous, a belief unto righteousness. And a belief in Abraham believed in his heart because he saw him. He heard the gospel preached to him. He knew that God was going to raise up the Messiah. He raised up Jesus Christ, Yeshua the Messiah, who loved us so much that he died for us. And now, The same Jesus, the same Yeshua, who open eyes, open ears, raised the dead, healed the sick, cast out demons. The same Jesus is the same one who confounded the Pharisees and Sadducees. He's the, at 12 years old. This is the same Jesus. Who was constantly conflicted against, fought against the same Jesus. The Word of God, who 
became flesh and died for us and was buried in a wild tomb. Died to a horror on a cross. Calvary. In the Hebrew book of Heaven, holy, raised again, raised up, raised from the dead. Was coming back for you and I. Those who believe, if you believe, you got to understand Torah, which is instruction in the Bible. Instruction. Hey, old Israel, because the Bible says, and here's where we all have messed up. We have to tell it to the children. We, the, 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 we're supposed to wake up to the word. We're supposed to speak word. We're supposed to See, word coming from where? From everywhere. We are surrounded by the word of God. It acts as a gate, as a fence all around. Praise God. Understand it. My little horse this morning, that's why I'm speaking a little low. But y'all still get the message. God! The Lord lift up his countenance on thee and give thee peace. Bless God. Bless God. My love.